But I think I know what the problem is. I got these like weird standards. See, I'm looking for a man to have shuns. Do you know about shuns? You know about shuns? Oh, I'm looking for a man with education, okay? <laughs> I'm looking for a man with transportation. <laughs> I'm looking for him to have accommodations. <laughs> I definitely need him to have compensations. And if you like vodka as much as I do, I need libations. <laughs> to that cafeteria, and I saw all white tables, and I saw all black tables. And in my head, a little hum went, one of these things is not like the others. <laughs> One of these things is not like us. And suddenly, I spotted it. A little Chinese kid all by himself at a table. And I thought to myself, hey, we both got smelly lunches. It's going to be my new best friend. <laughs> and I sat down, plopped myself, opened the corner of my Tupperware where my mom had specially crafted a curry potato sandwich. <laughs> and out of nowhere, this little Chinese kid looked at me and said, who opened the can of asshole? <laughs> <laughs> These were some of my slimmer days. You know, I was a little concerned today about what to wear. My, my mom is like, you know, now you're doing the comedy thing, you're not married, maybe someone will see you wear proper clothes, okay? <laughs> there are some nice earrings, because if those holes are loose, I wonder what else is loose with you. I want Asian groceries, I want to go to a place that smells like Poseidon's asshole just tore apart in there. <laughs> Like some crazy music in the background, like dong, ding, dong, dong, dong. and I want the little kitty to just keep up with that beat. That's a legit place. That's a legit place. If I want Indian groceries, I'm gonna go to an Indian grocery store where the essence of mud butt is just flowing in the air, and where the cashier has like a ton of like porno stash, and he's totally judging me because I probably showed up with three homosexuals. Still not that many, I see. Thing that I am loving about COVID is working from home. It's awesome. It's awesome because, you know, you guys are right now probably having your lunch. It's a lunch hour. And I don't miss the office lunch. I don't miss it. I don't miss it. Because here's the thing. When you are HR and you know as much as I know about my employees, <laughs> I don't trust Doug's potato salad that he brought from Potla. <laughs> I don't. Like, someone should have signed Doug paper plates and paper products because nowhere near that potato salad. <laughs> and then I really love, like, when they order lunch in. You know, Panera, all that good stuff. And for some reason, the, they always think that I'm vegetarian. Right? Like, I'm in line looking for, like, that Italian sandwich, and all of a sudden, someone behind me is like, um, I think the Mediterranean veggie was for you. Yes. <laughs> they thought wrong. They thought wrong, okay? Thank you. Thank you. The immigration officer was like, yeah, you know, we've got some formalities here, just a couple questions. He was like, so in the event the United States enters war, are you willing to bear arms for this country? And my mom was like, I mean, I don't really like to wear sleeveless shirts <laughs> because I have like the fat on, you know, the fat on, I don't like to show the fat on, fat on. And she came and talked to me. She's like, I didn't know like a bare arms and like a hold a weapon. I thought I you have to wear sleeveless. <laughs> and in my mind, I was like, I love that you are willing to hold a rifle, but a tube tops where you draw the line. 